Hi everybody, Lori here from My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun project to share with you using some products from the latest Genoblade release. I have several here that I'm gonna be using. First up is the Treehouse Hugs stamp set. It's a larger stamp set. There are coordinating dies to go with it. So you get some cute critters and this treehouse with several sentiments. There's also the treehouse dynamics, which is the same that's in the stamp set, but it's like a standalone die. And then you have the treetops dynamics, which I thought were clouds at first, but they're actually the tree tops that go in the treetops. You'll see how it all comes together. But I think you could also use it for, for clouds too. Okay, I'm gonna start with the treehouse dynamics. And I'm going to just start die cutting out the wazoo. I'm using all solid color cardstock, two different shades of brown for the tree trunk. And then some of the doors and windows that you can add on if you want to. You don't have to. You could keep the tree trunk, trunk plain. But if you wanted to add some doors and windows and make it look like a little tree house in there, you can zhuzh it up to the high heavens. Okay, so I did two different shades of brown. And I decided to add a little ink blending. I'm using some Distress Inks. Vintage Photo is the brown shade that I'm going to blend on this kind of lighter brown tree trunk that I die cut. Giving it just a little bit of gradient love for a little dimension, little added interest. Totally optional. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Adding just some subtle blending on the top, on the bottom, a little bit on the, bl on the branches. Nothing fancy schmancy. So there you have the tree trunk. I'm going to go ahead and glue on um, all the doors and the windows. Now the windows, uh, they have like little panes in the windows. And I thought it'd be cool to, uh, by the way, there's a little doorknob. I just did it out of brown. You could probably have made it like metallic or black if you wanted to add a contrasting color. But back to the windows, they have like window panes and they're all different shapes. There's a round window and kind of an arch dome window, and there's a teeny tiny window that you can put in the door. Of course, this can all be customized. You could put these anywhere you want. I was just kind of following the illustration that was in the stamp set. I took those same window dies and die cut them into some yellow cardstock, and I'm gonna pop in the little window pieces back into the die cut. So it looks like there's kind of a warm, glowy light going on on the inside of the tree. You know, like maybe somebody lit a candle. I'm not sure, but uh, it gives it a warm glow. You could also add like a light blue. Um, lots of different ways to customize these windows. I love having this little embellishment wand to pop in the little pieces, or if you have a quick stick or some type of tool to pop in these little tiny innards, really makes it easy. Now, this is another little idea I had. I took the coordinating die that coordinates with the stamp set, and uh, this doesn't really go with the standalone die, but I wanted that little grassy area behind the tree. And um, so I just got a little bit creative and it just kind of made the grassy area. It's optional, but I thought it was kind of fun to give that tree trunk a little bit of grounding. There's also these tiny little dies in the standalone die set that make little, little sprigs of grass. I'm not sure what you want to call them, little grassy sprigs. And then there's also, I went ahead and die cut. There's a lot of little pieces to die cut. These little, I don't know if you'd call them like little stepping stones that would lead up to the door, kind of like a little woodsy sidewalk stepping stone thingamajiggy. So I did those out of brown. Um, yeah. And then I decided, you know, since I ink blended on the trunk, I felt like the grassy area was looking a little bit flat. So keeping it consistent, I'm adding a little shading. I'm using Distress Ink again, Rustic Wilderness. I don't usually recommend adding the shading after you've glued everything together, but you know what I mean? Sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. I had already glued it on, and then I changed my mind about the blending, so I just added the blending as an afterthought and it worked out just fine. And there's all these little bells and whistles that you can add to zhuzh up your tree, your little tree house. There's a little lantern that hangs from one of the branches and I'm just die cutting all the little pieces. I am I went ahead and die cut a yellow lantern because I'm gonna pop in those little window panes and putting a little bit of score tape on the back 
to hold the window panes on the front. So it's tape on the back and then pop it in the yellow pieces. So it looks like kind of a glowing lantern. You'll see when I hold it up here. Really, really cute. And I'm just gonna glue that so it's hanging on the edge of that branch. Really, really cute. All these little bells and whistles are optional, of course. And then I went ahead and put together a little mailbox. You could definitely customize that mailbox with different colors. I just kept it brown. And I have trimmed a panel of blue cardstock for the background, but keeping with the gradient love, kind of making everything consistent, uh, taking out a little prize ribbon and giving it a little once over along the edges. Again, optional, but I thought since the um, lantern is glowing and there's like kind of a warm glowing light on inside the tree trunk, kind of makes you feel like it's, it's dusk. So I'm giving it a dusk vibe on the background by blending the prize ribbon on that blue. It kind of makes it moody, like a moody, dusky forest. Just go with it. Okay, back to the cute little critters that are in the treehouse hugs. There's several to choose from. And I just wanted to keep it simple because I already put a lot of detail into the tree. Uh, so I just stamped one of the bears. There's like a bear, oh, I think there's a horse, a kitty cat. And, uh, but I chose a bear and I'm just doing some simple, super simple Copic coloring here. I've got my marker caps there. I zoomed in so you can see, um, listen, I like no must, no fuss when it comes to Copic coloring. I'm definitely a no must, no fuss type of gal. I call myself the redneck Copic colorer. If I can do it, anybody can do it. I usually do three shades sometimes four if I have the markers and you know try to get a nice smooth gradient blend and then I add a rosy cheek always gotta have a rosy cheek there are coordinating dies so after I get this all colored I'm gonna cut this bear out using the coordinating die take it off camera run it through my die cutting machine now back to the tree top dies which I thought they were clouds which I think they could be clouds but they also add great treetop and there's all these different sizes i cut a variety of greens and then keeping with the blending theme i thought it's only fitting to add some blending to the greenery okay and i use that same rustic wilderness since it all kind of ties in even though i have different shades of green cardstock i use that same rustic wilderness on all of the die cuts Kind of ties it all together, makes it a little bit cohesive. Now I'm going to start assembling this card. Put a little tape runner on the back of my background panel. And I'm going to pop this down on a white card base. I did trim it a little bit smaller to get a nice little white border around the edge. And then now here's where you can really, you know, it's up for grabs. Where you want to put all the greenery. I'm putting some down behind the tree popping some up in front of the tree. I already went ahead and adhered the bear onto the little scene down there, popping up some. You can now, if you want to put it in front or behind the branches, I was just kind of going off of some of the examples that's on the website. So definitely check out the My Favorite Things website. They always have incredible inspiration, but really you can't go wrong with adding greenery to tree. I feel like the more, the more you add, the better it gets. That's just kind of how it seems to me, but it all came together really easy. Now for a sentiment, I went back to the treehouse hugs. I chose one. There's several different ones to choose from. I'm going to emboss this in white onto a strip of black. And it says, it's just like you to be so thoughtful. So this is a fun little kind of gratitude card. Great for a thank you. Um, really any time of the year, uh, you could use a card like this. Heating it up with the heat gun. And then I'm going to use my little mini guillotine to trim it out into a little sentiment strip, which I'll pop down along the bottom. I put a little foam tape behind it and nestled it right in the center. And this card is finished. It's just like you to be so thoughtful. This one here isn't necessarily holiday themed, but if you're interested, there are some Genoblade holiday themed products in this new release. Check out the My Favorite Things website for more inspiration and information. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.